Five years ago, you didn't have Google Classroom. The grades weren't online. VHS, DVD, I mean, go way back and beep with a film. The idea that we can access anything, like 60 Minutes was on this weekend, and I showed it Monday. What we're working with, we need things to work all the time we, in order for our kids to collaborate these new and exciting ways that we're trying to get them to do. I'm basically on my, on like my devices all day. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Can't go like a minute without being on my computer, so. My name is Simon Magnifico, and I'm a part of the Digital Media Communications Academy, and we essentially cover different forms of media, like graphic design, um, film, audio, photography. It's fun, I like it a lot, yeah. Most of what we do here, like everything's online, Google Classroom, like we barely write anymore, so it's important to jump on the technology. There are many different aspects of education technology, but providing the essential conditions of broadband connectivity and virtually unlimited broadband connectivity is where we wanted to start. Digital learning is critical, and I would almost say that we should stop calling it digital learning and just call it learning. BTech is Connecticut's first pathways in technology early college high school. Our students are taking online courses. There are times when they never have a face-to-face -face with a college professor. So we now have, um, in real time, access to everything that is at our fingertips. And that's absolutely critical because if we think about where they may uh, choose to study or work, it may not be in Norwalk, it may not be in Connecticut, it may not be in the United States. If we don't start to participate in that as a nation, then we're pretty much behind the eight ball and we can't allow that for our students. When I see success of the integration of technology, it actually, the technology becomes invisible. If we're teaching writing in a classroom, you're not paying attention to the pencil, you're paying attention to what students are actually doing and what they're writing and how they're writing. The fact is, 75% of Connecticut's high schools and about half of our middle schools have one-to-one -one laptop programs. We have the raw ingredients for great learning. Really what we want to concentrate on is how do we leverage that technology for authentic, deep, project-based and personalized learning. Last year I developed an affordable housing unit that could have been implemented by uh, an organization and actually built here in Norwalk. It's like even more important for us to be on the internet now that we're searching for like our potential career paths. There's no way you can have a class like this without the internet. Part of my recommendation to other state leaders would be listen to your stakeholders, listen to those in the community and what they're asking for. You might think about starting with a particular geographic area that's a high needs area to connect. So wherever it is, you can start off small, make those incremental steps, and you'll be amazed at the results when you turn around and look at the body of work that you've delivered. Good morning, Good morning Rock High School. School. My name is Liam Tobias. And I'm Caitlin Lorenzana, and you're watching Bear Country News.